What's up, everybody? It's your boy P from Loud Pack. I hope everybody doing all right. <clears throat> um, me, I'm just chilling on a Saturday morning. I wanted to just <clears throat> hop back in with another video. Um, I wanted to touch on this Ron Garcia and Tank Davis once again. You know, the fight. It pop up, it disappear, it pop up, it disappear. It's back on the radar now. <clears throat> Since Ron Garcia, his last win, you know, people feel like they want to see him in there with Tank Davis. Um, in my opinion, Ron Garcia, <clears throat> he been calling out Tank, but for a lot of reasons, he was pulling out the fight or just a whole bunch of excuses, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying he used the tank name just for to get attention, bring attention to his own name. But um, I mean, like I said before in my other videos, I ain't really pressed about this fight. Ryan Garcia ain't on Tank Davis level, honestly. You know, from the arsenal of weapons, you know, Ryan Garcia, he got fast hands, he got a left hook. But Tank Davis can do it all. You know what I'm saying? He got ring IQ. He can box. He can punch. <clears throat> he can pretty much do it all. You know what I'm saying? And then you look at the level of competition that both of them face. Ryan Garcia, the level of competition ain't nowhere near Tank Davis. I know we do want to see more out of Tank Davis, but when you compare their two resumes, it's not really no comparison in my opinion. I mean, to anybody's opinion, just look at the stats. So... You know, this ain't a really been a fight that I've been longing for. You know, the Devin Haney and Tank Davis, that's a mega fight. As far as money, as far as skill, and as far as who will win that fight. But this fight right here is just like a money grab. You know, Ryan Garcia, he got a big fan base. Tank Davis got a big fan base. They know it'll be a lot of money generated. But <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about is... Coach Calvin been posting a lot lately saying no peanuts for war. And um, what I'm taking from that is that they not trying to pay the money for the fight. That's why the, the negotiations are still <clears throat> being discussed. So evidently, it's a money situation going on. Um, and I feel them, you know what I'm saying? They want to get paid for a fight. They know this fight going to generate a lot of money. So they want to get paid. But <clears throat> I don't believe it's going to be a war. You know, I was kind of curious about that. You know, him saying no peanuts for wars. And it's like, I think this would be an easy night for Tank Davis. But, you know, I know he do want to get paid what he's worth for this fight. But I don't think it's going to be no war. You know, Tank Davis, <clears throat> to me, one of the wars he's been in was... You know, the Cruz fight. That was, you know, Cruz, he, he just kept coming off a of victory now. But at the time when Tank Davis fought him, he was, you know, people didn't really know him. And um, that was a pretty tough fight for Tank. They went the distance, you know. Tank got, I think, like a 90% knockout ratio, but he could knock Cruz out. So, you know, that, that raised Cruz stock. So, um, you know, he's, he's a player. In, in the mix now as well but um just as far as the Ryan Garcia fight I don't feel like that's gonna be a war you know but I do feel like he need to get paid if they want to put on the freak show and entertain Ryan Garcia's fan base then yeah you gotta pay the man you know what I'm saying you gotta pay the man so um that's just my thoughts on you know Tank Cal Coach Calvin you know saying no peanuts for wars you know thinking that they are not trying to pay the type of money that Tank Davis deserves right now. So we'll see what happens with the negotiations. I know they were talking about December or something like that. Nothing is official yet. So we'll see what happens. But <clears throat> like I said, in my opinion, it's not a fight that I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to watch it. But, you know, the fight to make right now is Devin Haney and um, Javante Davis if you want to keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, to me, that's the next hottest fight. Tank versus Haney. 
you know what I mean? From, from all angles, you know, the competitive standpoint, the fan base, and just the um, the unknown, you know, that's like a 50-50 fight. Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence is like a 50-50 fight. Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, that's not a 50-50 fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Ryan Garcia can't pull off the upset, catch Tank Davis with a left hook, but it's going to take more than that. You know, Tank Davis, he proved he got a chin. He can take a shot. And like I said, he's not just a brawler. He, he He's a bar, brawler slash boxer with high ring IQ. You know what I mean? So to me, Tank da- <clears throat> Ryan Garcia going to need a lot more than a left hook and fast hands to beat Tank Davis. That's not to say it can't happen. Anything can happen in the sport. That's why we love it, but I definitely don't feel like this fight is going to be competitive if it does come into fruition, but um, <clears throat> let me know what y'all think. This is a fight y'all want to see, what y'all think about the fight. Do y'all feel like, you know, Coach Calvin saying, yo, we want to get paid. If we don't go to this war, quote unquote war, <laughs> we want to get paid. Um, let me know how y'all feel about that, but um. Y'all make sure y'all can check me out on IG at Loud Pack Boxing. You can check me out on IG at The Jab Effect. Me and my partner, Combo Breaker 99. You know what I'm saying? Um, for some more boxing talk. Um, you know, y'all do all the YouTube stuff, like the video, subscribe if y'all want to. You know, I'm getting tired of saying the same thing over and over again. You know, people know what to do if they want to do it. But um, that's all I really got, man. Like I say, y'all let me know what y'all think about these negotiations and talks of the fight going down in December, Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Um, Everybody already know I'm a big Tank Davis fan from day one. You know, he representing the hometown, Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? We, We stick together. You know what I'm saying? And we're a different breed, for real. But, um, that's all I got, man. Um, Y'all make sure y'all <clears throat> stay tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Um, appreciate my subs that's rocking with me, hanging in there with me. And I appreciate my new ones. I see I got a new sub too. So shout out to him. I appreciate that. Um, definitely looking forward to dropping more content. Just from my perspective, I'm not trying to compete with nobody. I'm not trying to be in nobody realm. I'm just speaking my point of view on these particular fights. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's all I really got, man. It's your boy P. I'm out. Y'all be good.